What's up, guys? So, in the lab right now, um, waiting on some incubation. So, I, I was just sitting there thinking, I was like, you know what? I should do a video right now. Why not? On location, in in the lab that I work in, because it's not my lab. So, um, I was thinking uh, about, I wanted to talk about mentorship in the STEM world. So, uh, for me, that's been a really hard thing to come across. And I'll take you through why that's been so hard for me uh, for multiple reasons. So let's start at the beginning. So uh, as a undergraduate, when I started doing undergraduate research, I had a really good, so, so there's, I guess I should start off with this. So there's a difference between mentorship, uh, being a PI, and advising. So, they're not all all inclusive under one umbrella. I mean, maybe it should be, but uh, it, it's just not. So, say for my undergraduate research, uh, I had a great PI. He was my PI, but he was also an advisor, not particularly a mentor. And I'm gonna tell you why. Uh, he advised me on uh, research things. Like he was very helpful. You know, he was helping me become a, a better scientist. He was a uh, molded me to be a scientist but when it came to mentorship so mentorship is more of personal things like uh, helping me navigate the STEM world as a black scientist like you, you're gonna come across this so you're gonna have to deal with it like this and um, when people come at you like this you have to you know things like that so um, honestly if I had uh, a mentor if I had a mentor now things would be so much better I would understand things in the STEM world better it would be so it would be great to have that person to go to. So, um, as an undergraduate, uh, I didn't, and I ended up at the master's program or the PhD program that I was at uh, down in Atlanta. So, um, when, uh, when I was an undergrad, my advisor um, at that time, he, he, was, he was a great guy. He got, me into, he got me into research. He's the one who really, you know, got me into uh, loving science in general but uh, uh, he didn't um, it, well he didn't mentor me well uh, to take that next step and um, the way I reacted to some things when I was down in Atlanta uh, could have been handled better if I had that mentor right there to help me navigate the world now let's go down to Atlanta um, I had down there I had a PI so, granted, uh, he, he wasn't an advisor. He all he cared about was like, hey, you you got this you got this done. That, that's all he that's all he worried about. Even though I was working hard as hell, it doesn't really matter. I just hey, you got this done though. So um, he wasn't a mentor because he didn't care about me or my personal life or none of that. I remember one time uh, I had surgery and he was like, oh, so how long are you going to be gone? It's like brother, I just told you I had surgery. You didn't ask was I okay? Like the first, literally the first thing he asked was, "Oh, how long will you be gone?" And this is like right after we just published our first paper, and I'm just like, "Yo, I don't I deserve a little bit of time off? Just you know, I got to get this thing figured out, or I got to get this thing um, uh, uh, taken care of." And you over here talking about, "Oh, um, so you so you're gonna take some time off, even though I'm in there for 14, 15 hours a day." Uh, that all, all that matters was, oh, I wasn't going to be there. He wasn't going to be able to see me work. So, wild stuff, right? So, there I had just a PI, and um, that is a toxic, toxic relationship, especially when you don't have a personal relationship with your PI or with your advisor in, in that case because um, you, you don't... Um, you don't understand them they don't understand you if you guys you guys don't have to be friends you just guys have to click and that, that's the big thing so trans, uh, you know now now that I'm here at Howard University um, I have it's a it's an interesting relationship uh, I have with my uh, I guess I would call him my advisor because he, he he generally genuinely cares about me my well-being um, but the, the problem is, is like I don't ever see him. I don't. I think the last time I seen my advisor was maybe a month ago. So it, it's really wild. So, um, so I, I guess I wouldn't categorize him as a mentor either. So like, so this thing called mentorship 
and, and STEM is so hard to find because you um, you have people who, who want to help you grow and that's what you have to and that's what you need you need somebody that wants to help you grow that checks in on you from time to time be like hey man everything all right like anything you want to talk about like uh, I, I mean I I would like that sort of thing but I'm not getting that sort of thing um, I don't know and, and a lot of people might want to play the race card or play oh you know this and that and that is I don't I mean honestly I don't know if it's just me or is STEM mentorship hard to find are are older STEM or older scientists not trying to mentor the younger generation coming up because I, I find like when whenever I'm in like any kind of situation so say at Howard the uh, professors they, they don't care about you they just want you out their way it's crabs in a barrel there it's crabs in a barrel they they don't like you like if you if you if you go uh, if you go against them in any kind of way they you know you are the enemy so uh, and then now I do my research at the NIH and um, it, it's kind of different because I they're not they're not there to mentor me like they they are um, they are paid to do research for the government pretty much so like I, I don't get any mentorship there either like I'm kind of there and I, I actually I get kind of flustered weird enough I'm a big dude and I get I get flustered when I ever got to talk to my white counterparts just because you know I was like I, I feel like I'm bothering them you know what I mean like they, they don't want to they don't it was like man who, who's this dude like dude go, go somewhere like yeah so that that's how I feel um but they I never felt welcomed in that case but so there's there's a lack of I guess wanting to mentor other scientists and I, I feel like that's I feel like there's something something needs to be done about it maybe um maybe I'm wrong you tell me uh, you know comment below let me know what are your thoughts on mentorship in the stem especially uh, I mean I don't know if there's a difference between white mentorship black mentorship uh, or minority mentorship just because maybe because I'm black it, it's harder for me to find a mentor than uh, it would be for a white person I don't know and I and I want to know I want to find out because I feel like mentors you you don't find your mentors because you can't force anybody to mentor you uh, you, you know uh, the mentors find you so I feel like my mentor hasn't found me or nobody I've come across have wanted to mentor me and I'm still navigating this dim world alone just trying to figure it out as I go along and I'm just trying to figure out like how can I get that mentorship or maybe maybe I'm just not supposed to have one and you know just supposed to be a mentor to somebody else which is just fine as well so you know let me know what you let me know your thoughts on uh, mentorship in STEM either minority non-minority it doesn't matter I want to know what you guys think about mentorship as a STEM student either professional in in grad school whatever all right let's be real with you guys talk to you guys when I got uh, another video up all right.